Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? I hope you are doing well. It is a new year and I am so ready for a new year. But we are going back in time because I have yet to do my November Get Ready With Me using my Ipsy and Alert products. So they have been sitting patiently next to me to use and so we're going to use them today. And I'm excited because that means I get to dip in to the Nomad Berlin Underground palette. I love Nomad and I'm excited to have a palette by them. I have two shadows by them. Well, actually, now just one because I passed on Kreuzberg to Andrea because it was in this palette and I felt I didn't need two of them. So I'm excited to dip into this. Also, we have this Mana Kadar Lip Bliss. I think it's a lip gloss, or is it a lip balm? It's a lip mask. Well, I have already put on a lip treatment, but I'll put some more on. So I am always... in need of a lip product. So I have never had a mask with a wand. You guys, it doesn't give you a whole lot of product, but that's okay. It, what, it, what is coming out is very nice. It has a slight fruity scent, but not not overpowering at all it's very nice no tackiness we'll see how it wears throughout this get ready with me so far it's really nice we have this wonder beauty nude illusion liquid foundation i'm excited to try that a Jula Stick Eyeshadow, and what's the shade? The shade is Bronze Shimmer, so this should go nicely with the Berlin Underground. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. They say it's a cream to powder formula. From Josephine, we have this liquid lip. By jo is it by Josephine? Josephine Cosmetics. And remember how I slaughtered? Oh, this is an eye gloss. It's a liquid eyeshadow, and it's in the shade. If I read it the correct direction, <laughs> I would actually get it. The shade is Leona. Okay, so... One's warm, one's cooler, but we'll see if we can incorporate both of these. If not, we'll use one of them. Well, that was good. Oh, we have the Violet Voss. This is the Coral Pal. Cheeky Coral, I think is what it's called. So I might use a shade or two out of here. Maybe, we'll see. Let's put the two up and see if... I can use, I, I think so. I might use that cream shade to set my primer and maybe a brown or two. We'll see. I have this Koki Soft Glow Highlighter and it's in the shade Heavenly. I have all these things in my hand. So a nice champagne highlighter, that's pretty. This is Yensa's Sunlit Glow Skin Bronzing Base. It is a cream bronzer, so we'll see how it works on the face. And then the last is by Milani. It's one of their rose, what is it called? Rose Powder Blushes, and this is in the shade Romantic Rose. It's just a nice nude blush. So I think what we have to work with is going to actually work rather well together. These two, I'm not sure if we can incorporate both, but 
we'll find a way to at least incorporate one of them. Okay, I am just using my I Love Color Intensifying Primer. All right, let's take Silk from the Violet Voss Cheeky Coral Palette, and I am just going to set said primer. So nothing exciting starting out with Violet Voss, but okay, that that teddy blended out nicely. It just put down a nice wash of brown. I know I didn't go in overly heavy, but I think it's pretty. Okay, let's look at <laughs> the Nomad palette. Oh, what are we going to do, guys? I don't know. I want to swatch a few of these shades to see what I'm working with here. This one is called The Wall, so let's swatch that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, this one is Deutsch Punk. So, oops, I didn't mean to swatch it on the wall. That's pretty. Chaos Stage. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. It's the word chaos and the word stage all as one. I'm not a fan of that one. This is So 36. I don't know what that means. Anybody know what that means? And Poor But Sexy. Let's see if this will match me. <laughs> it's pretty. It looks like a shimmer, not a metallic. That's pretty. I think I actually like, what was the one I just did? Chaos Stage. This one right here, I really like that in the wall. Those two. I think we're gonna go with that. That means we'll go with the Julep Cream to Powder eyeshadow. So, Let's put that on right now so I don't forget. And I am just putting it all over my lid. That's really buttery. And I'm just spreading it out and a little bit up. I promise I'll use a shade or two from the Nomad palette because I'm so excited for it. But Darn if I couldn't call this done. We're going to take the shade Talkless, this beautiful red shade. I I just can't not take that. Isn't that pretty? And then we're going to take Love Parade. That's its name. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know if they're going to go together, but they're going on my eyeballs. So you guys like my little bun? I'm actually trying something new. I found these terry, um, terry cloth scrunchies on Amazon. And so I thought I would try it with my hair. And I read how to do it. You know, there was a lot of people, a lot of reviews on, on them. A lot of negative reviews, to be honest. But... There was one review that was very helpful. She gave step-by-step -step, um, instructions how to use it versus um, doing what some of the negative reviews were doing. You ha your hair has to be semi-dry before, or at least dry at the roots before you put it up and usually people use this for bedtime and sleep with it and then their hair comes out you know somewhat wavy the next day and my hair was it wasn't completely dry but it wasn't sopping wet either and so we'll see how it works I'm just testing it out I'm if it fails, then I will do another step with trying, you know, to 
blow dry my hair a little bit even though I don't want to go that route or letting it air dry for a while and I'm not going to sleep with it because I'm just putting it up there for while we film but I have curly hair anyway so you know, I I'm okay with however it turns out. If it's not as frizzy, I'm I'm down with that. That will work for me. I did put some product in, um, however, just in case, since I'm not leaving it in overnight. If I was doing it overnight, I wouldn't put product in. I never put product in my hair when I do my hair overnight. If it works for the days that I'm filming and my hair is wet, I think that's kind of cute and if it comes down and looks decent then that'll work for me it'll be a new way to do my hair while we're doing getting ready and yakking so we'll see how it turns out if it doesn't that's okay that's on me if it does that's okay and that's on the lady who did the amazing review of this product and I didn't get the brand name one, you know, they have, Kitsch has them. I just got a four pack off of Amazon by some brand, I don't know. I'll put the link down below for you if you're interested. But I was excited to see these. Because sometimes I fall asleep with my hair wrap on, you know, the turban, hair turbans. Sometimes I fall asleep with those, and I like how my hair turns out. But I think it's what caused a lot of breakage right up front. So, yeah, this red is really pretty. I think I could have just used this and blown it out. Well, my transition, but it's really pretty. I'm just using a tapered brush by Farah just to get that red more concentrated. I'm going to go in with Love Parade, that gorgeous purple. Holy smokes, it's pigmented. I'm going to... So... Do any of you make New Year's resolutions? I do not, but do any of you? Some years I think about doing it, or I do do it, and then before the end of January, that resolution is so out the window. So I, I have learned it's just better for me to, you know, not not do a New Year's resolution. I know it works for some, but I'm not I'm not one of them, so that sounded that was terrible. Okay. I don't know. I might go with Hansa. That's pretty. This one is chaos stage oh that might work and then so 36 we're gonna go with so 36 i'm shaking I'm going to take a brush since my hands are shaking so bad. Okay, it's different. I don't know if that was the best choice, but what's on my eyeballs now? I 
just took the brush that had the red shade, topless, tequila, something like that, and just to blend Love Parade and SO36 together. I actually like that. It helps a little bit. I mean, there's not a lot on there, but... Yeah, I like I like that red there. Weird. Weird but true. Weird but true. But I still like the purple on the end. What do you guys think? Kinda weird, huh? Can you see that red on the lid at all? While I was waiting for my primer to soak in, I did line my eyes using Purple Rain by Avon. This is the shade. It will, I thought it was the one I was looking for, but the one I wanted is just a touch darker. But it's okay. It's okay with mascara. It will hopefully look fine. Or maybe I'll look for the other one. Okay, let's try this Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Light. I don't know what kind of coverage this is. So, we will see. I was hoping this was a... Oh, I was hoping this was a pump. But, it's not. I'm trying to be very careful so it doesn't go everywhere. It's a wand. I've never had a wand foundation before. I don't know what that says about me, but I've never had one. Come on. It smells like it smells like um, Mo is it Mod Podge? Um, paper mache. That's what it smells like. Paper mache. Slightly unpleasant. We're just going with this foundation brush by Sephora. Okay, so this is definitely not a light coverage kind of foundation. I, which I thought it was. Even though I did not know what it was, I didn't think it was anything but why, I don't know. But. Maybe because it comes in a squeezy tube, even though it's not a squeezy tube. Makes sense. Okay. This is somewhat yellow. I mean, it's not bad, but... And it looks like it has somewhat of a matte finish. Covered up my my dark spots fairly well. Okay, I do like the coverage of that Wonder Beauty. I did not um, put any more than however much I had on my face the first time. I didn't go in anywhere with a second with a second layer, so I don't have a sponge. So it's a finger day. Oops. So I'm I'm not mad at it. It is a little it's not a matte um foundation. I would say it's more of a natural finish, but on me it just looks a little bit drier because you know, I'm a little bit drier. 
but it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not, it's not a dewy or hydrating foundation, that's for sure, but it's not, it's not uncomfortable, but I can tell that it's more of a natural finish just because it's a little tighter than some. Okay, I do like how that foundation looks. What do you guys think? That is nice. All right, let's try this Yensa Skin Bronzing Base. And it's in the shade Sunlit Glow. Let's see. Okay, it puts down a little bit of glow. I mean, not a whole lot, but that's okay. I'm sure you could build it up to being <laughs> a little more shiny, but okay. I've got it on both sides now. I like it. It's it's a soft, subtle bronzer, but that's okay. It is meant for the for the whole body, not just the face. So all right, let's go in with the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter in Heavenly. It's a beautiful champagne. And I did, while I was off camera, I did do my cream brown blush and highlighter as well as a powdered and then put on my powder bronzer as well as my brows just so I could tackle those since I don't have anything from this bag of Ipsy and Allure stuff stuff makeup all right let's go in with romantic rose I think this is a gorgeous shade it's a nice soft nude. Maybe I was going to take this shade right here called Champagne and put it in my inner corner, but it has a pink flip. So, or a peach flip, excuse me. A peachy gold flip. So let's see what we have in here. do cruise brick look at that beautiful icy green the wall remember I really liked the wall I think that one would work yep yeah, let's try it it's not my typical inner corner highlight but let's see what it looks like Oh, I like it. And I pulled it onto my lid just a little bit. I am going to take the same brush that had that red and just gently dust it onto my under eye. Or at least I hope gently, because my hands are shaking. my purple oh what happened all right here's my final look using my ipsy and allure beauty items from november i like it it actually turned out better than i thought when i put down so 36 so 36 I thought darn I just I just killed it but I like the wall on there it opened it up I did I did pull the wall onto so 36 just a little bit but I put I made sure that so 36 was still in there 
Did you guys see my snafu? I I think I I'm gonna leave a clip just so you could see. I was this I went great. I put down that red shadow. I wish I could remember the the name of it. And then I put the purple down. And the purple which is Love Parade. It went great on this side. And then on this side, it caught on my waterline. So that meant it dragged some fluid out onto my eye and it smeared all the way up here. So I had to do some, you know, some work to kind of fix it and it doesn't look perfect but it looks so much better than it did but I really like this eye a little a little different but very pretty the combinations were a little out there I know the purple and the red and the brown and the cool bronze from the julep and what oh that grungy green from the so 36 and then that kind of cool toned it's not really a mint green but it's definitely ha it definitely has green properties from the wall They're all quite unique shades, but I think they created a really pretty, pretty eye. That's what I'm trying to say, eye. On my lip is Rodeo Drive by Gerard Cosmetics. It's just this nice nude. It has a little bit of, I want to say a peachy pink pull to it, but it is a nice, you know, medium nude shade. I thought it would go nicely with this eye and I think it does. My hair is still still wet so I don't want to pull it out. It's more damp than than wet but I want to leave it. I will post a picture here so you can see what it looks like once it's dried down and I'll tell you guys about how long it took and if it works i this may be the new do you see when i do my get ready with me all right guys it has been about two and a half three hours it still is slightly damp but my scalp feels completely dry so Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it is still quite damp, but that's okay. Holy Toledo. I'm glad I did this on camera so you guys can see what it looks like. Wow, sexy girlfriend. All right, so it is damp still. So I think if I left it on overnight, it would be really curly and bouncy because even though it's, you know, damp, it's not wet. And it came out really pretty. There's some, there's some frizzy spots, but that's okay. That's really pretty, really pretty. I like it, I like it a lot. What do you guys think? All right, this is my hair, cute, cute. So that's it for this Get Ready With Me using November's products from Ipsy and Hover. Man, that's been a long time. Please take good care, please be safe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.